Hello, I'm Dorothy. Patrick filming. We're Toronto Master Gardeners. And we wanted to show you an invasive plant that's growing here in Toronto. Japanese knotweed is native to Japan, China, Korea and Taiwan. It's uh, relatively uncommon there. It grows in um, disturbed volcanic sites. But it was introduced to North America in the late 19th century, uh, really to, for grazing livestock and to control um, erosion on, uh, on sloping sites. And um, it was first uh, documented as being escaped in 1901 in Niagara Falls. Now it is quite, uh, quite a very serious uh, plant now when it's shown as growing in our gardens because it can, um, it can damage buildings, it can um, grow through eight centimetres of concrete, asphalt. So here's how to ID Japanese knotweed. It's bamboo-like, um, it has a hollow stem, see? It's, oh, it's reddish brown in colour and stems are up to one inch in, in diameter. If you want to come in close here. It has jointed stems, same as bamboo, with reddish brown nodes at the joints. It dies back over winter. The stems um, remain standing over winter and uh, new shoots come up in the spring. These, these are the old, old shoots from last year and then new shoots emerge early in spring. The leaves are alternate. They grow one one way, one the other way. Um, they're 10 to 17 centimeters long, 7 to 10 centimeters wide. Uh, they're oval or heart shaped and with a flat base. So these, although the leaves don't all look identical, some are more oval, some are more heart shaped. These are uh, typical Japanese knotweed leaves. The flowers appear in late July and August and they're panicles. They're small white green sprays and they, um, they're actually longer than the immediate leaves beside it. And it has a, a fruit that's tiny, winged fruit. And it's triangular in shape. And because it's winged, it's able to um, disperse in, in wind or water. New stems emerge in late March and early April. They look like asparagus spears. They're purplish in colour and the new stems fade, fade from the purple to more green. And um, these ones here are still very purplish. If you travel around to this one here, this one has faded more into the green. Japanese knotweed is a very rapid grower. It can grow up to three inches a day. Uh, one meter in three weeks and it reaches its full height by the end of July. It's bamboo like clumps of it and they can reach heights between three to ten feet tall. Japanese knotweed is a bit like an iceberg. Two-thirds of the mass of this plant is underground. It has massive rhizomes as its roots and they have to be removed completely to get rid of the plant. A one centimetre piece of root left behind or rhizome left behind can grow into a new plant and if it's in water it can grow into a new plant in six days. The, the roots of this plant can be up to six feet deep. To try to remove this there are probably three different methods. Um, one is cutting it down and you need to do this every month for up to five years and hopefully each time you are uh, weakening the rhizome system. Uh, another way is digging it out. You have got to get all of the root removed. You've also got to make sure that there's no little pieces left in the soil at all 
third method is chemical control using a herbicide and it should be used at the end of May uh, again in early summer and again um, through July and the herbicide control along with cutting it down the two sort of go hand in hand If you suspect and spot that you have this on your property, you want to remove it as quickly as possible. It's easier to uh, remove when it's just a small stand. You don't want it to, to, to grow larger. For disposal, you want to um, put the stems and the rhizomes into thick black plastic bags, tie it up tight, make sure you have all the pieces of rhizome uh, leave it in the sun for at least a week, in the hot sun for at least a week, so that the stems and the rhizomes dry out. You put this out in your household pickup. It should not go in garden waste. Uh, you don't want this to get into compost at all. This is a serious, dangerous invasive plant.